Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the Leaf 4 animations in Icron 8 3D animation software. You can let any of the leaf to fall and you can adjust the size of the leaf, the area of the leaf falling and also the quantity and the, the wind blow directions of the falling leaf. And this is a really detailed tutorial on how to create this type of the 3D animations. First up, I'm going to show you step by step. This is my Icon 8 3D animation software. And the first step, I'm going to choose the workplace as the standard workplace. And next step, click here, click to the set. You should be able to see the particle. And under the particle, Choose the legacy folder, double click to access it. And then you should be able to see the four. Alright, just drag in. Alright, once you already drag in and back to the scene, click the four. Make sure you select it. If you play, now you can see there are a lot of the falling leaf, and this is this is a maple leaf. A maple leaf. Right, so you can change it to any leaf as well. How? Now I try to play, I make it as a video loop. Then here, you should be able to see the diffuse. You can change this picture, but how are we going to search this type of the picture? It is a PNG. So now I will just go to the Google image as demo. And I will search here, leaf, L-E-L, leaf and go to the image and here I'm, I, I'm going to search PNG transparent background something that you search it out you must have you must make sure that it have this type of the transparent background so if I want to use this I just right click to save this image on my desktop and this is a demo Green leaf PNG photo. I click save. So next, I will back to my desktop here and drag in to replace this image. Now you can see once I replace already, just click play. Now it, it automatic generate the opacity map. It is really automatic. Now it changed the pattern of the leaf already. All right. And then you can see this is the volume of the falling leaf just at here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the size and also the area. Now, for all of this type of the falling leaf, you can change by using, you can change the size of the leaf by using the size multiplier. Change the size of the leaf. And also you can just just to scroll down and change the total number of the leaf here. Let's say now it's 229. If I change it to become 20, what will happen? Then the maximum number of the falling leaf will be limited to 20. And the, the emit rates, it, it control how many leaf to emit in one second. So let's say if I put two, press enter. Now, for every second, it only appear two extra leaf like this. Of course, this number, the maximum of the emit rate must be less or equal to the quota. If it is bigger, for example, if you put 500, it also cannot exceed 20. But the quota, if you put 1000, it can be really a lot. You can see a lot of the falling leaf like this. Of course, not only the, the leaf, you can change it to become money as well. Just by changing, changing the image at here. Right, so as demo, I'm just, just wanting, to, I'm just wanted to make it about 200. And here, emit rate, I may just put 50. So now I have the falling leaf like this. And emit volume, I can change. This is the height. The Z as is, the emit volume Z is the height. If I put it as 2000, then the height will become 
3000. You can see now the height of the falling leaf that appear as the falling effect here is 20. And of course, you can change the x and y. For example, if the x I put it as 5000, now it is going to change it in x directions. It is totally 5000. And you can see if you increase the volume but the total number of the falling leaves still remain the same, then you can just scroll back up and change the total number, the quarter here. Maybe you change it to become 2000. Then it can balance back the intensity of the leaf due to the increase of the amid volume. And then, actually you can change the wind directions. And let's say if the wind direction here, I change it to become 800 in x directions. And of course, it is going too fast. Let's say if I change it to become 1000, all right, 2000, you can just, okay, this is 200. If I change it to become 2000, now you can see this is the wind direction. It, it all go to the x directions about 2000 the, the speed wind and here if i put it as minus 500 it is going to change the direction as well you can see now all the falling leaf will just go to the certain directions consider it as a vector and now the gravity you can change now is minus 50 if you put it as minus 100 it is going to fall very fast like this Right, this is the gravity. If you change it to become 10, minus 10, if you change it to become 10, it is going to go upwards. You can change it to any direction. It is really fully customizable. You can change it. Sometimes you just want it to blow up. Maybe some, some wind that, that led it to blow up. It is up to you. And that's all you can see. All of this variable, you can change really a lot. This is the size. And of course, you can just make it random. And you can add more. Let's say this one. I add more. For example, this. You can mix. It is not only one, you, you really can create a lot of this type of a falling effect like this. And that's all for today about my tutorial on the leaf fall animations in iClone 8 3D animation software. You can adjust the size of the leaf, the aerial, the aerial to cover the falling leaf and also the quantity of the leaf falling and also the direction of the wind. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to a 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you!